Is it true that no dentists were sent to France until the middle of the war, and they only came about because General Haig got toothache? Is that right? Any, any? Uh, well, the, the short answer is no. <laughs> but the, what, what I can, I mean, the, the, the more considered answer is really, yes, there was a shortage of dentists at, at the beginning of the, of the war. Um, the numbers thereafter increased rapidly. Um, at that point in time, there was no separate dental corps, but there was a separate dental branch of the army. Um, but it, was, it became clear um, pretty quickly during the war that many men were being either, either not being allowed into the armed forces who were otherwise fit or were <coughs> actually then being invalided from the armed forces or, or at least you know, being sent down sick. Um, because of dental carers, when you know, other, in other respects, they were perfectly um, good to, to fight or do some kind of duty. Um, so the number of dental surgeons increased quite rapidly um, through the war, and at the end of the war, they actually, in recognition of this, you know, and, uh, you know the Army Dental Service was created. But um, but there were, you know, there were dentists who were people who specialised in dental surgery who were there from the beginning. So is it true that Haig had to go to a French civilian dentist? He may have preferred to do that. <laughs> <laughs>